Hello, my name is Chris Palmer. And in today's video, how to rank your content writing. So in this tutorial, this guide, this is video one of the NLP method. So this video, what I want to do is showcase and lay out the steps to the NLP method utilizing natural language processing API that Google has so graciously let us use. This video is going to walk through these steps. I have 10 steps to writing content with the NLP method. I also want to touch on first, what exactly is the NLP? And how do you read it? How do you understand it? So that's what we're going to touch on. Let's get a article, it's SEO audit checklist. So that's what I'm going to use here to walk through the NLP with you because understanding the NLP will then give a deeper understanding of the method. All right, so let's just grab the snippet. And what's great about grabbing the snippet is a couple of things, especially when utilizing the method. All right, we can understand what's the mood, what is the intent i mean there's a lot of information that we can gather here but let's gather this up because i want to walk through some of the most important pieces of the nlp so we'll go ahead and put this snippet in here we're going to analyze it and i'll walk through some of the most important pieces of this nlp all right so one of the most important pieces and i'll walk through here see the entities are people places and things now google and i, I i've went ahead and I wrote it down here. Entities, according to Google, is distinct and independent existence. Person, organizations, numbers, consumer good, entities will be separated in brackets as you can see on here. So those are your entities. Understanding the entity is relatively important to the NLP method. Now, as far as syntax, which is here we will not discuss that because that's how these sentences are strung together and that's fine but more importantly what i feel is very very important and what is very crucial to the nlp method is this right here salience now it used to be lsi was the go-to all right now as time has progressed lsi is very very important however as the time has been going on, this salience is a better understanding of the important words that you need to contain within your article. So these numbers per words are going to give you the most important words that need to be included inside of your article. I'm not saying that LSI is still not important. Other words that come up while being spoken about a topic, but this salience is so important to the NLP method. So let me give you a deeper understanding of what this salience is. So when we're taking at taking a look at the word here, each word inside of the uh, demonstration that we put in. All right, I grab that snippet for the keyword. I put it into the API and it's breaking down the words. Now, as you can see here, it's giving it a score. Anything that is going up above 0 0.05 holds more weight and is very important to the keyword or key phrase that we're trying to target. All right. So now let's talk about sentiment. Now, sentiment words are basically setting the mood. Now, if you go down here, there's three score ranges. All right. Now, as you're looking at the score range, there's green. There's a yellowish, or you can call it a beige or a manila, whatever you'd like. And then there's also red. Now, I look at this in a very simple manner. Green means positivity. The middle, the manila, means it's a neutral vibe. And red is negative, in my opinion. So, as we can see here, it's breaking down each, what everything that I put inside of here, right? And it's giving each sentence a score. Is this positive? Is it a neutral? Is it negative? So what we are looking at here is a positive. So now that we understand the most crucial pieces of the NLP API and how it's breaking down sentences and words and it's putting them together, I know I didn't cover syntax. 
but that's later on that'll be in video two but categories is the last piece that i want to touch on then we'll get into the steps of the method all right so categories obviously it's a very simple piece it's giving us a idea of the overall topic after you have ended writing or creating your content you want to make sure that it's obviously in the same exact category of the ranking content so google is understanding your content writing makes a lot of sense right now let's move in i have broken down 10 steps to the method all right and it's going to be some of the best practices of course obviously but we're also going to mix in a little bit of the nlp so let's go with step one now step one obviously is keyword research keyword research for any all right blog post or content writing or anything is really your number one most important thing but there's something that is a little bit more important when we're discussing and thinking about keywords and keyword research and it's the intent now it's not only the intent of the searcher that matters but it's also what is google showing us what does google want to see as far as intent of my writing so for this particular instance obviously the keyword of choice for for the tutorial and for this video is seo audit checklist now there's two things that i'm looking at one is and this is step one figuring out the intent all right so this is step one i have i have a 10 step list of the nlp method all right and i'll share that with you and i have video two walking through the process and setting up the entire piece writing out the content and and the reason why i'm showing this is because aside from my email catching website that i'm sure everyone has seen i have numerous affiliate sites i run multiple other sites right i i, I wouldn't just be home for no reason I have multiple other sites and we are seeing a lot a lot a lot a lot better results than we were by utilizing just a lot of the old tricks and I'll, I'll get into more of that later but in any case let's go ahead and take a look at our intent so first and foremost we have this all right we can see that the intent is obviously a list <laughs> it makes a lot of sense for this keyword but more importantly the intent of the searcher and what's most important is being shown right here all right it's a step-by-step -step list so that is going to be the intent so after that my second piece once i understand the intent and what i'm going to write my second piece and again this is a list now you could put it in any order you want but the next piece of the list is going to be my alt i want to see an image search what is popping up all right because obviously we need a lot of multimedia we want it to have a lot of value to the end user we want to use the alt text that google is already rewarding and winning so in order to do this this is step two all right we go in we keep the same keyword and we are then looking what is google rewarding as far as imagery and alt text are we are then inside of images and now we're taking a look so a few things pop out obviously you're always going to see seo audit checklist seo audit checklist to me is a relatively medium tail keyword so any variation of that is perfectly fine seo auditing would be a good variation but there's other words that google is rewarding and let's start picking those out so i see the word free here i see the word comprehensive here as we go through i see the word website here website seo audit checklist ultimate seo audit checklist the word on page we would skip over that seo audit checklist um comprehensive all right so we understand that piece i'm not going to walk through everything i have a whole tutorial now let's move in to number three so this is step three and this is in no particular order you could do this in any order you want i'm just walking through the steps all right so step three is going to be deciding how many images are on the page and this is relatively simple so we need to find out what google fond of what is working in the top ranking positions so very easily for step number three we'd go to the top three ranking positions we would pull up the site and we would go and literally see 
how many images are the top rankers using for this keyword. So now that we've established step three, we need to go into our page setup. All right, taking a look at what's working inside of the SERP, we'll open up Brian's site because it's very well laid out, but all of the sites are laid out the same way. And let me explain to you how they are laying out the sites. And this is just for this keyword. Now I'll move into more about using the NLP API, but I'm giving you the framework of the step-by-step -step to this process. All right, so as we can see here, and this particular layout, is followed across all of the top rankers and the layout is let me explain to you what i mean by this we go to the headers and as you can see how it's being laid out one h1 which is typical for any side that's a, a a main signal your h1 but as you can see it's an h2 right and then he'll give an explanation h2 explanation h2 explanation right that's how i'm going to write my page out understandable so that was step number four, the page layout. Now let's move into step five, and this is going back to the NLP. This is such an important step. This is literally the most crucial step of the entire process. Step number five, you could have been step one. I just hurried up and wrote a list, right? I'm sure you can understand. So this is where we are checking the salience. All right. Salience is are considered the most important words by Google, right? I don't make them up. They say they're important. So I need to include them. We'll go to the API. We're going to put the content inside of the API. Now, as you can see here, all right, we can see, and these are some very important steps. All right, I'm not going to see these. Step one, objectives, all right? See the scores that are here? This is giving the importance of the word, all right? I hope this is making sense, all right? User experience, this, important, see this? It's a little bit above. Now, as we get lower in here, okay, and you can open these up, you can make them even more. You'd have to go through piece by piece, but what I'm getting at is these are the important pieces that are important to this particular keyword, all right? So that is step Five. So step number six is the sediment. What is the uh, mood of the content? And like I discussed in the very beginning, very simply, we put in the content that we want to analyze. We take a very brief look here. And as you can see, it's a positive. All right. So when we're writing, we want to stay within those confines. And when we go and we check our content, we want to make sure that it matches. So the very next step in this particular 10 step NLP method is going to be checking the speed. Now, why is speed important? Because speed is not going to give us a ranking increase, but if it's not as fast or faster, it will be a demotion. So in order to do that, and this is very, very simple for step seven. I like to use a site called GT metrics, but a very good rule of thumb is 1.5 or faster. All right. Just make sure you're at least as fast as the top three rankers or just a little bit faster. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to step number eight is the length the amount of content that needs to be on the page. And I want to touch on this more importantly. Do not write content to simply put words on the page. You will then open up a tool and you will see, and I'll just do one very quick here. I'll open it up, I'll pop open density, and I'll take a look. For this particular page, they have 9,000 words. Now what's even more fun is Brian Dean wrote 12,000 words. All right, so that is the amount of content writing that you will need to take care of in order to compete in this SERP. But each sentence, each word, each line needs to have importance to the topic. Let's move into uh, step nine. All right. All right. So after you have written your content, this is a Google ran uh, operation, I guess. You can literally put your content in to take a look and it will test the performance, accessibility, best practices, and SEO. All right. 
So there's the 10 steps. Really, I was wanted to explain the NLP, what was important in NLP. I wanted to give a framework to the step-by-step -step process. Hopefully this was well received. It's simply using the best practices and mixing in NLP. We've been playing with it. I had somebody create a variation utilizing this, but I wanted to show this because everybody has access to this and it's a lot of fun. So if you have not deep dived into NLP for your content writing, hopefully this SEO tutorial has helped you. If you have any questions about the NLP, content writing, digital marketing, SEO, pretty much anything SEO business marketing related, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next SEO tutorial, how to write content video.